Mouse acceleration is often regarded as being bad for FPS games, when it can be either very good or really bad, so today I will go over this topic to show why the setting got this reputation, my experience with it, and why you should give it a shot. To start, let's talk about muscle memory and why it is a lie. Your muscles don't know how to do a certain motion, your brain does, sending a signal to your body to perform an action. Doing something over and over again will make your brain create or rewire neuron connections related to that task, making it easier and more effective to repeat. Muscle memory would never work even if it existed because you're never playing under the same circumstances. Your position will change slightly, your strength isn't constant, the resistance of your mouse pad is gonna change with use and air humidity. As far as aiming is concerned, you don't learn how much to move your mouse for each situation, you learn mouse control, hand-eye coordination, reading skills, etc. But let's focus on the former for a bit. The reason why swapping from one sensitivity to another can be bad has to do with the muscle groups a player has learned to use to aim. So if someone has only played with high sense, swapping to low sense will hurt their performance short term because they only know how to control their mouse with their wrist and fingertips, not with their arm, and vice versa. The human brain is very good at adapting, so if you have learned how to use arm, wrist and fingertips to aim by having experience both on low and high sense, you can swap sensitivities very easily and most of the adaptation period will take just a few minutes. And remember, we are only considering mechanical skill here, aiming consists of so much more, such as different aim techniques, reading enemy movements, choosing the best shots to take, etc. So if you want a guide that talks about these topics, I will leave a link in the description for my video on that. Now let's talk about mouse acceleration. The idea behind it is really interesting. You get the benefits of both low and high sense, without having to make any sacrifices since your sensitivity is dynamic, changing based on how fast your mouse is moving, which is really useful in a game like Overwatch where you want to be able to perform quick 180s to follow all the crazy movement abilities in the game, but you also need to be precise with most heroes in the game. That's cool and all, but it doesn't mean any mouse acceleration setting is good. This is a graph for the Windows setting and it is horrible, makes no sense and changes arbitrarily. This program is called Rockcell and I have been using it for about 2 months now with this graph. It has improved my consistency immensely, but less strain on my wrist in mid to long range tracking scenarios, made my widow look good for the first time in years, and, very important, it is completely safe to use in any game and anti-cheat. Before going over how to install and set up your own graph, let me say this setting isn't for everyone and that's completely fine. After all, mouse acceleration could hurt a player that doesn't know how to use their arm, wrist and fingertips to aim, so having practice with both low and high sense is basically a requirement for it to make sense to you. It's obviously possible to learn to use it even with half the experience required, but it would take longer than doing focused training on the spectrum of sensitivities that you don't have practice with to practice the muscle group you want to learn to use. Also, it's important to note, this isn't going to give you superpowers. All this option does is increase your skill ceiling for aiming, it won't raise your skill floor, so it's on you to reap the potential benefits of mouse acceleration. Your goal doesn't need to be to get better though, and instead it could simply be health related, as the dynamic sense can help you avoid doing motions that are bad for your body on the long term, such as straining your wrist by doing a lot of long range tracking with a high sensitivity, which would be a task better suited for a lower sense. Another side effect of using mouse acceleration was fixing my bad habit of always flicking everywhere, which would make me go off target when my crossword was positioned perfectly on my target, which in turn also makes me use my wrist less when gaming. Installing Rock Cell is very easy. To start, go to this link you can find in the description and install any prerequisites you don't have. After that is done, head over to the releases page and click on the latest release to download the zip folder. After that, simply extract the contents, open up the folder and run installer.exe to install the driver, restart your PC and you're good to launch Rockcell. If you ever want to uninstall it, run uninstaller.exe to remove the driver, restart your PC and then uninstall the program. It's important to note that you need to open it to have mouse acceleration applied, but you don't need to press apply to have it work and you can close the program afterward, since it gives your settings to the driver instead of doing the work meaning that you have to restart your PC to remove the acceleration. You keep the program open if you want to look at the graphs or change settings, nothing else. After you open up Rockcell, there are gonna be a lot of settings to play around with, some being more important than others. To start, click on Charts, 
scale by mouse settings, then set your DPI and pull rate to the ones you have on your mouse if it has the option for you to customize those, which most gaming mouses do. After that, don't mess with Y to X ratio or rotation at all and go directly to sense multiplier as this is the only persistent value no matter what type of graph you choose. However, I will warn you that the information I will tell you to find a good curve might only be useful for the graph type I use which is natural, and since it is the only one I played with, it is the only one I will talk about, so if you are curious about the other options you can search for other videos on Rockcell or read the guide in the GitHub page we used to download the prerequisites for the software. To find out what number to put in the box, go into any sort of practice mode and find out what sensitivity you find comfortable doing 180s with. And after that, do the same for your comfortable low sense for tracking. Now that you have two numbers, divide your smaller number by the bigger one, to get a value below one, and that is your sense multiplier. Make sure to put your in-game sensitivity at your comfortable high sense value, and what will happen is that when moving your mouse slowly, so the start of the curve, your sensitivity will be lower than the one you set in-game, all the way down to your comfortable low sense. And the faster you go, the less the program will decrease your in-game sensitivity up until it reaches a value of 1, at which point you'll be playing with your comfortable high sense. To make sure your curve ends at 1, mess with your limit until you're satisfied with the result. Gain simply makes the curve smoother, so you probably want to leave that on, and input offset is very simple, instead of accelerating on any movement you make, it will only accelerate after a certain threshold is met, preventing your sensitivity from ramping up if you panic and stuff. The K rate is how sensitive your curve is to your movements, so you can make it reach the top of your curve from slow movements or very fast ones, but I didn't change this one personally. Also, if you accidentally insert values that make your mouse unusable, you can press tab or shift plus tab to navigate the interface and then use enter to reset it back to a normal state. 